Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video and also a brand new setup because I'm in Sydney with James at the moment. If I sound a bit different, if my keyboard's louder, if my lighting looks different, that would be why. <laughs> but anyway, let's jump into some gameplay. Get yourself a tea. All right, so exciting times. It is winter, which I'm excited to see because usually it only snows on the mountain and I haven't played with seasons in the game during winter to see snow in the other neighborhoods as well. So I thought that was kind of cool. And oh my gosh, my park looks so sad in winter. I didn't actually think about how it would look in different seasons. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, so basically in the last part, we got to the top of Mount Kurumbai. Kurumbai? I don't know. Oh, flea market. Oh, except we have like no money to spend. Uh, I also read some comments. You guys want me to pay more attention to the Sims needs. This is something I always have not been great at is making sure my Sims needs are always in the green just because I don't really, I know this sounds bad, but I don't really care about their needs that much. Viewers often say, can you please look after your Sims? It's driving me, driving me crazy. So I'm going to try to do more of that. And I'm also trying to raise enough money for us to move. We also have Key here who is ready for a promotion. And he has almost 20 grand in reserve, which is really exciting. And he's almost made 25,000. So he is uh, almost past the first level on his way to being fabulously wealthy. His work, I've got his level eight, his logic skill to level eight and his charisma skill to level six. So he should be ready for a promotion tomorrow and the host phone conferences are still broken but thankfully we don't need to do that to uh, upgrade or get promoted uh, so he's just having some cheese toast he also needs a little bit of socializing and i'm thinking maybe we should look at some dating profiles online to see if there's some sims out there he could maybe go on a date with uh and then in terms of work oh yeah in terms of work we have work tomorrow at 10 a.m. Cool. And Sarah over here, let's get her up and uh, having something to eat. These guys, their relationship isn't so bad either, which is good. Uh, we'll just get some leftovers in there. Their relationship is pretty good because, I mean, their romance is dead. Their romance is way dead. <laughs> but they are friends. They are getting along now. They can socialize together. Sarah was actually helping Key uh, play chess to get his logic skill up, which is nice. So, that, you know, they're doing well and she's been selling things at the table as well since the last part to get a little bit of extra money too. And I did get her snowboarding skill up to level nine. So we only have one more skill level uh, to go until we can film our snowboarding. And then that means we can kind of make money and royalties from our snowboarding videos, kind of like writing books. So that's actually going to help us raise a bit more money to move as well. And Mikey has been like messaging us like crazy recently. She is so into us. She really wants to catch up. So I don't know, maybe we can go to the flea market with her. Our romance is dying with Mikey as well, which is really interesting. Cause remember this romance was so high and I don't even know how it got so low. I swear I didn't cheat it. I don't, I just feel like Sarah doesn't want anything to do with Mikey and Mikey just really wants to be in a relationship. So anyway. It's all very interesting. He, on the other hand, if we go to his sim profile, he is single and loving it. So he gets increased skill gain in all skills when single. Amazing. <laughs> Less likely to acquire romantic sentiments. Okay. Finds romantic media somewhat unrealistic. Increased work performance when single too. So that's probably why he's doing so well in his career. And he's tense when he's in a new romantic relationship. So I don't think he wants a relationship. You know, maybe just checking out some people online, maybe just making friends online. We don't have to go online dating. Find pen pal, chat with, who's online? Uh, wow, there's a lot of elders online these days, so that's good. Uh, Kayoshi, we could, you know, chat with. Jenna's also a friend of Sarah too, which is nice. You know what, let's just go snowboarding a bit more. Oh my gosh, Mikey's at our house. She, I swear she's stalking us. All right, well, let's just say hi, uh, share, uh, invite in. Well, we're definitely not giving our keys. Also, we're in our underwear. Can you just, okay, good. Let's just change. I also gave Mikey a little makeover and I think she looks so nice. 
Is she just ignoring us? Okay, I feel like that was really passive aggressive. I feel like Mikey's the kind of girl who's kind of insecure. She really wants a relationship. She keeps like hassling us to hang out with her. And to be honest, it's a total turn off. So I say we spend some time with Jenna today. Mikey's just too intense. And she like is annoyed. I feel like she's annoyed and cold at us because we're not giving her attention, even though we told her, Mikey, we we just need like some space. We've just gone through a divorce for goodness sakes, but she probably doesn't really understand what a divorce is like because she hasn't been through one. Because she is such a close knit sim, she really needs to learn to open up a little a little bit more and let other people into her life. Let's go snowboarding on the ludicrous slope. Uh, let's go medium intensity together. So this is the ludicrous slope. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this a bit and just let it, you know, level up a bit as well. Okay, it's dark now, so I feel like, oh, I feel like, uh, and we've got half the skill up. I feel like we should go home because I am watching her needs. Oh, and she fell over, bummer. <laughs> okay, well, 7.42 seems like a decent hour to be home. I also turned lights to order because you guys were saying you need to save your money by putting order lights on, so thank you for that. Let's go upstairs. Uh, hygiene's surprisingly pretty good. I don't know how we manage that. <laughs> I wonder if Mikey's still here. Surely not. Okay, she's not. Maybe we can invite a friend over. You know what? Let's let's have a dinner party. Yeah, let's have a dinner party. I feel like we should invite some some friends over, not Mikey. Oh, we could do a gold event because we might get a little fun item that we can sell for a bit of money. So there you go. Uh, Key's going to invite folks over. We're going to invite Jenna. I, is she married to Kayoshi? Maybe we'll just do Kayoshi and Jenna. All right. And we don't need a caterer and we'll just have people come here. Okay. Oh, look, he's in his nice business shirt and he's going to cook something. He's going to serve a dinner. Let's do some dumplings. We can have dumpling night. Oh, we don't have enough room for everyone, like enough seats, but that's fine. It'll be fine. Uh, oh, she looks gorgeous. Um, how she's just hungry. Okay. Let's thank for coming. All right. So what do we need to do? We need to make drinks. How do you make a drink when you don't have a bar? See if we can get a water. All right. Let's, uh, call the meal. Why, where is Kayoshi? Oh, there, there he is. Oh, he's in his lovely, um, dinnerware. Stop going upset. <laughs> did, was that, did he make a drink? Oh, a water is a drink. Oh, that's great. So, uh, thanks for coming, you guys. Oh, we don't know him. Let's do a respectful introduction. Uh, I know, I know the setup's a little awkward, you guys, but let's talk about the weather. <laughs> okay, that's, that's two drinks. All right, we're just gonna make one more drink. <laughs> and we need to tell stories. Oh, we need to listen to a stereo. Okay, well, we need a stereo and a coffee machine. This is not good for our budgeting. 120, 225, $300. I guess we'll just get the cafe wall speaker. <laughs> okay. And the tea, the tea set. Uh, let's see, tea, tea. 275 simoleons. Okay, we're gonna get the Joe Jockey instead. I wonder if it can sit on our burnt. Yeah, I didn't replace that because it costs money. Okay. Well, it's nice to have a chat. I feel like Key is a little shy. So what we might do is brew some coffee get Sarah to do that and once he's had his urination. <laughs> oh, look at this. They're sitting down, having some coffee. We can keep thanking for coming. I don't know why we can keep thanking them, but we'll just keep thanking them. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> lifestyle at risk. <gasps> he's at risk of losing his workaholic lifestyle. You know, it's not a bad thing. He could do with calming down a little bit. Like whenever he's not at work, he's always stressing. It's just such a shame, you know, that he's always stressed. Oh, we only got the silver medal. We were so close. There's a decorative rack in our inventory. Okay, well, how much is this worth? Was it worth the dinner party? 275 simoleons. I mean, it's something, right? Oh, wow, we got this display shelf as well for 260. And what is this? Oh, we got the climbing award. Okay, that's pretty cool. We could sell it, but I want to keep it. And this is really nice. This is only worth 100 simoleons, so I say we keep the screen. But I love this. We have to just make sure we don't forget it when we move. Uh, I think they're going home, so that's perfect. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to clean a few of these things up. I don't know why this bowl was left out. 
But you know what? I think that was nice. Having some people over for once. Key just needs a rest as well. Oh my God, it's 3 a.m. It's so hard to get the Sims to go to bed on time. <laughs> At least Key goes to work a little later these days, so he does get that extra sleep in. Uh, it just goes to show that the hard work does pay off. And yes, there are a few things we need to clean. I am aware of that. I'm gonna brush our teeth. I might do a quick tinkle, quick urination. And then uh, let's just get some leftovers for breakfast. And then Sarah today, she, oh, mail's been delivered. Uh, I, I wonder how long we can get away with just not paying our bills for. Oh man. Okay, Sarah's gonna have to fix that. Well, here she goes promotion today with a bit of luck. I'm actually gonna get her up a little bit early because this is really irritating me. Oh my God, Mikey's like, hey, I heard you became friends with Jenna. She's pretty cool. <sighs> Maybe we just have to tell Mikey we just wanna be friends. She's too much. She's too intense. Like she calls us all the time. She keeps coming to our house. Like it's kind of borderline creepy, even for Sims. Jenna's wondering if you want to go over to her house. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll go hang out with Jenna, but not Mikey, because Jenna's not creepy. I think Mikey just really wants to be in a relationship really badly. One of you guys actually said, I don't even think she's that into her, like into Sarah. Oh my gosh, look at Jenna's house. She lives in the uh, traditional neighborhood as well. That's so pretty. Oh, I love the builds. <laughs> uh, so let's go inside. And I really want to meet uh, her partner, Cater. Cater, right? Yeah, Cater's her spouse. Cater is pretty cool. He's got cool socks on as well. Oh, and she's making some toast. What a lovely house. Who's this person? Are you their kid? I think this is their son, maybe? Because they kind of look alike. And then maybe this is a son's room and a daughter's room. Maybe they've just aged up. I don't think someone dressed her in that. I think she's aged up. So they're, they're probably their kids. So do you want to go snowboarding again, maybe? Oh, we got a promotion and a bonus of 3,000 simoleons. Yes. Promoted to group Oracle? What? I want to... Let's, um... Let's switch to him. I want to see if we got any bonus items to sell as well and see much how, how much money we have. But this is so exciting. I honestly cannot wait to move out of this house. Promoted to group Oracle. He'll now make 275 per hour and we just completed the milestone of his aspiration. He's received 1500. Oh, okay, so we didn't actually get any bonus items from that. Oh, we got it. We have a certificate. So no new objects, just more money, which is a good thing. And how's he feeling today? It's feeling pretty good after work too. So, What's on the calendar? Uh, we've got Winterfest coming up on Wednesday. It would be great if we could be in the new house for the new year and Winterfest, if possible. Okay, so if we click here and click move sell furniture, oh, we're still missing another $4,300. We need $4,300, so we need another promotion. I mean, how, what do we need to do to get to the next promotion? It's gonna take more than a few days, I think. You know what? Why don't we bring Sara back here and then Sara can invite Cater over and then maybe Key can hang out with Cater and help level up his logic skill. There you go, so so, how you doing? Share single and loving it tips. <laughs> uh, he probably wants to let him know he's, he's fine with the divorce that happened, it's all good. Brag about owning Planters? Do we even own a planter? Oh, because probably because of the green initiative or something. Uh, I want to ask, let's chat about property values. I want to see if he's a, a businessman as well to see if they have that in common. Would be nice. Well, uh, maybe we should move this inside out of the cold and they can play a little bit of chess together, get to know each other a little bit. They could, you know, be potential business partners one day. Um, and Sarah's just gonna have an early night, go to bed. She probably wants to hit the slopes early on tomorrow. Oh, honey buns, you need to sleep properly. These guys level up. Oh, you don't wanna play anymore? Hey, come on, Cater. I do think the easiest way to make the money and to move by the new year is probably to get another promotion. And we kind of need to keep that workaholic lifestyle. We 
kind of need that. Oh, workaholic at risk. What do we need? Uh, how do we keep that? We could work extra hard tomorrow, maybe. Complete daily tasks. Well, we're trying to complete our task now. <laughs> I don't want to lose that because it means that we're going to do better in our career if we still have the workaholic trait. And once we get the new house, then we can relax. Well, look at that. Him and Kato just from a bit of chess and hanging out together are now friends. That's nice. All right, you guys, now that it is nighttime, I might finish up this part right here in the next part or yeah, hopefully by the next part, I'll level up a bit more with the snowboarding and career wise, I'll level up all of those skills. So then we can hopefully get the promotion and move in the next episode, fingers crossed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag.